Hi, I'm the champ. You're watching Spin TV. Hi, I'm Avery Jenkins, and here's the discs in my bag. First off, we'll start off, I carry all max weight discs, from putters to mid-range to drivers. Always max weight, less affected by the wind, and they can handle a lot of power. First off, 12-time KC AVRs. This one right here is my go-to putter, always and forever. Great for, you know, long-range putts to even short-range putts. Always use this putter. But the one thing I don't do is throw my putter for approaches. So I have a second putter. Approaches only and short drives off the tee. Second KC AVR right here. And then a third KC AVR. This is a real overstable putter. I uh, use this for most of the drives off the tee and maybe windy situations for approaches in the fairway. Here's another kind of short range hybrid driver to a putter. Champion Glow Gator. Um, great staple in the bag, great for windy situations. Low approaches, skip shots, great for sidearms. Very overstable, never turns over. Very reliable, you can always trust this disc. Great disc. Next, another uh, specialty disc. Um, it's considered a fairway driver in a sense, but it's my KC 10 time Whip It. Um, not a lot of players use these anymore. It's a uh, very utility for the fact that I can throw this for spike shots, very vertical up and down shots. Um, typically anywhere from 250 to 300 feet. Um, I love this disc for sidearms, for backhands. Great spike hyzer disc, KC Whip It. Now to the mid ranges. Carry four rocks, all different stages, from beat up to very stable. Um, KC 11 times, this is broken in, good for straight shots to a late turnover fade. Straight, KC rock, nice, throw it flat, stays straight, very controllable. Brand new KC 11 time rock for that nice straight stable fading up shot to approach to drives off the tee. Gotta love a KC rock. And then all time beef right here. The very overstable four time USDGC Ken Climo Glow Champion rock. Um, love this disc. It throws like a driver. You can put a lot of torque and power on this disc and it handles it. It's a great, it's a great mid range driver for that. Now the fairway drivers. I absolutely love T-Birds. T-Birds are my go-to fairway driver. Carry them in all stages from you know beat up to flip turnover to straight to stable. This is my uh, straight to flip turn. Nice uh, star T-Bird. Another star T-Bird, straight stable. I can throw it on a nice straight flat line and it finishes left at the end. And then a brand new star T-Bird. This one handles a lot of power, a lot of torque. Um, goes anywhere in the four, four and a quarter range. Um, just a good, controllable, very accurate fairway driver. Then if you need something more stable than that, Champion Eagle. I absolutely love these discs for shots, uh, low range skip shots to a disc that you can absolutely throw in any condition, any kind of wind, and you know where it's gonna go. It's straight, fades left. It's a little more than a T-Bird, then actually less than a Firebird, which would be the next stage up. Um, very controllable, you know where this is going. It's going left every time. Um, great for backhands, also for sidearms. Um, just a great utility disc. You need to have a Firebird in the bag. If you don't already, get yourself one of these. And then you gotta kick it up a notch. You're going long distance drivers. I carry five Star Destroyers. They're my signature line of disc. Um, carry them in all variations from very beat up, flippy, to roller style, to very hook up, overstable. Um, love these discs for long distance, very controllable, very accurate. Not just me, but a lot of players use this as their distance driver. Here's the star, nice and flippy, flips up, fades, never really flips over too much unless I want to get a roller out of the deal. Um, next stage up, this straight to a late turn. Um, very long distance, if I catch this right, this is probably the farthest flying disc in my bag. Um, right here, a nice broken in, new Star Destroyer. Um, this one's just real nice controllable. I can throw it flat, hit it right, and it's going a long way. Next stage up, you got your SDS Star Destroyer. These are like the original marbled, very stiff, very long distance, good stable driver. And then these are the brand new ones out there, the new Avery Jenkins Star Destroyers. 
these are absolutely crazy overstable. Um, still trying to get used to how stable this thing is, but uh, it's a great utility disc in the bag and goes a long, long way. And then when you're going distance and overstable, I carry a lot of brand new discs. As you see, nothing's too old, nothing's too broken in, except maybe a couple of rocks and AVRs. But I carry uh, new drivers. Here's my Deep in the Game Star PD2. It's that long distance of a destroyer, but it's got a lot more hookup fade at the end. Um, very overstable, good for low line skip shots, great for hyzers that you want to finish to the left. I got an S line, but I also got a the PD2 in the C line. This is a amazing disc. It's like a long distance firebird. I can smash this disc a long distance and I always know it's gonna finish left. Very reliable, very accurate, very fast. And uh, it's a great bag. It's a variation of a lot of different discs. I carry uh, not a whole lot of models, but I carry a lot of variations of that model from beat up to mid-grade, kind of stable, kind of new, to a very brand new, very overstable variation of that. And uh, another disc that's in the bag, it's not an actual disc I throw, but uh, my Hook Lab Champion AVR Mini. I've had this in the bag for, I believe, eight years now, and uh, it's a good luck shot of mine. I've used it at every tournament for the last eight years, even won a world championship with this Mini, so uh, it'll always be in my bag. If it's not in my bag, it's in my back pocket through every round. and. Uh, just, uh, you, gotta, you gotta have a luck charm out there, you know? It's good karma, gives you good confidence, and it'll help you play better on the course. And uh, these are discs in my bag. Very comfortable thrower, goes exactly where I want it. Uh, and then... <laughs> yeah.